Today I have a super exciting video. <laughs> um, so this video is going up on June 1st and I want to say that um, Sarah Scraps um, is hosting this kind of like event, exciting thing. <laughs> it's called How to Kill a Kit with Style. <laughs> um, so she approached a whole bunch of different YouTubers I think there's like 20 YouTubers, maybe more. There's a ton. I, the list will be linked below. So you guys can go subscribe to everybody's channel and check out all of their beautiful kits. So everybody's video is gonna go live today on what their kit looks like. Some of us are making homemade kits, which is what I did um, for my stash. Some of them are making kits with previous kits, like putting previous kits together to make one big kit. Um, and some people are using like a collection that they have. Um, some people are using leftovers of past kits, um, like one kit that they just wanna kill. They wanna use it all up. So I'm super excited to show you guys this massive kit. Um, it's actually not quite, it, I thought it was big. I took a picture of it and posted it in our group and I thought it was pretty huge. And then there were some people that were like, that's not big at all. I have 20 something papers. And I was like, oh God, <laughs> I thought mine was pretty massive, but I guess it's not. Um, so I will say before I start showing this kit that any mixed media is gonna be free for me. I'm not putting it in my kit. I'm just gonna reach for it if I need it, as well as cardstock. So any colored cardstock, white cardstock, black cardstock, navy cardstock, any cardstock, I'm going to use if I need it. Inks as well, so any inks and stencils. Um, anything like that, if I need it or if I feel like I wanna use it, I'm gonna grab it. But for my kit, I just wanted to make papers, um, some letters, some word phrases, a stamp set, and some embellishments, and that's my kit. Um, I didn't want to pull in mixed media because I don't want to like I don't I want to use it as I need it. So I don't want to be told that I have to use it. Um, I mean, I'm not being told that I have to use this. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Um, if I need it, I will pull it. So, but I'm going to try to not pull any other pattern papers other than this um, unless I pull in a six by six paper pad which is definitely probably gonna happen excuse me and um, I'm gonna try not to pull in any excuse me again I got the hiccups any um, ephemera or anything because I have stuff pulled so this is my kit I'm gonna get started with the papers first and I'm gonna show you guys those um, because, well, that's where I started when I made my kit. So the papers, <laughs> actually, the papers that I started with are on the bottom. So I'm just gonna bring all these up and let's start with the three papers that I started with. This is how my kit kind of came together. So these are all from um, Webster Pages, The Good Life. So it's a newer, collect, newish collection. Um, and I picked up these three pieces of paper from it at my local scrapbook store probably like three months, two or three months ago, um, before I started my spending freeze. And they're nothing special. I mean, this is this, um, side. This is the back side of that. So this side is the um, buffalo plaid and then this side is the wood grain. So these are the papers that I started with and I wanted to bring in pinks um, from this and then I've also got the cut apart so I'm not sure what I'm gonna use. So there's greens on this one. So that's where the greens and there's yellow in this collection as well. So that's where the greens and the yellows are coming from and then this, there's different color pinks in this collection. So, um, that was that. So let me flip this back over. So my next paper that I pulled, and again, all of this is from my stash, was the Heidi Swap Hawthorne um, collection, and this paper is called Eden. And this is the side that I pulled it for, but this is the other side. It's that really deep, rich 
nice pink, kind of purpley pink, which is, this one's is a light purpley pink. So I thought that they really went well together. And then another light pink with a white heart. Um, you will see a pattern here. I am pulling different, I think I have a couple different wood greens, blacks and whites, pinks, and um, I'll pull in some aquas as well. And then next, oh, this is from a paper pad, by the way. I pulled it out of a paper pad um, from a Simple Stories, I believe, paper pad. Next, I'm pulling in some of that black and white. And these are from the Pink Fresh Studio Case of the Blahs. And I got the add-on kit for um, May's Click Kits kit. And so I have a couple pieces of paper left. And these two are um, two of the papers that I had left that I wanted to use. And I'm showing you guys the sides that I'm planning on using. So I'm not going to show you the other side because the other side doesn't match with this kit at all. So I'm not going to be showing it. The next paper I pulled is a super old piece of paper. Um, it's from, well, it's not super old, but it's old to me. It's from 2015, and it's from Bow Bunny, and it's called Calendar Girl. So there is another wood grain, and I'm bringing in the aqua color with that. So let's see. The next one I pulled is an older piece of paper as well, and it's from Fancy Pants Dream Big Collection, and it's called Head in the Clouds. And again, it's bringing in that aqua and it's a nice cloud paper, which is super easy and super usable. And then bringing in a grid style paper. And this is from the Girl Squad collection from Pebbles, I believe. And to be honest, I could use these cut aparts or I could use the other side because they're black, white, pink, aquas, um, the same colors that I put in this kit. So... There's that one, and then moving on to um, Webster Page's My Happy Place. This one is called Enjoy the Day, and who knows if I'm going to use this, but it's got the wood grain, it's got the green, it's got the aqua blue, and the of course somebody calls me as soon as I start filming. Lovely. Um, that seems to always happen to me. I don't know. It's like 11 o'clock in the day. Haven't had any texts, any calls, and then all of a sudden I sit down to film and somebody calls. So, where were we? The next paper is also from My Happy Place, and it's called Happy Squares. And, again, it's bringing in those aquas, that yellow that I wanted to bring in, some greens, um, and different color pinks. There's different, different shades of pinks. So... I could use these as some embellishments, cut them apart, or I could use this side, which honestly doesn't match. However, if I used it with any of these, or even the black and white, it would match. Or if I used it with the wood grain, it would match. Now, it's not going to match with these pinks, um, but I'm okay with that because it'll match with the other stuff. So, and then there's also the cut aparts that I can use as embellishments, which is nice. The next one is um, from My Happy Place from Webster Pages as well, and it's called Sunshine. And this is the, like, sun ray of rainbow colors. And then we also have this floral, which either one will work. Um, not sure. I could just, I could cut, these are really good, like, fussy cut flowers, so I could cut those out and, um use those as embellishments as well. Um, and I have two pieces of this paper. If I decide to use both pages, I can bring it in if I need to. So there's that. And the next one is from the same collection as well. And it is called Pretty Plaid. And I pulled it in for this nice light and white wood grain. Um, again, wood grain, wood grain, wood grain, but they're all different types of wood grain. And so I really like that. The next one is from the same collection, and it is called Heart and Home, and I brought it in, and I'm not sure which side I'm going to use. Again, I do have two sheets of this, so if I need to bring in both, I can, um, but I really like this side because I can do mixed media on this and just use it as a background, or I could cut a strip of it and use it just 
depends on how I'm, how I want, excuse me, how I want to use it, but I think that that'll be a good piece of paper. And then the last one is from Crepe Paper Flourish, and it is called um, Avery, I think. Avery? I don't know how to say that word. Um, but it is a white brick, like a whitewashed brick, which is a great background. Um, and I just feel like it goes well. So those are my papers. <laughs> um, so the next thing that I'm going to show you guys are my embellishments that I pulled. Um, so first we'll start with these frames. Um, I did want to bring in some pops of gold, uh, in my embellishing. So there's no gold or silver or rose gold in any of these papers. However, I wanted to bring in pops of it, um, for my embellishing. So we have the aqua and black, the gold with white polka dot, the black and white, and then this one is just white with gold writing. Then I brought in some bows, which match the color scheme that I got going on there. And then I went through my ephemera. So my ephemera packs, I usually keep them with their collections until I start to use a lot of the collection up, or I keep it with the kit until I start using most of the kit up, and then I disperse the ephemera into drawers. I have like a little drawer unit. So I have them separated by what they are. So I have frames in a drawer, I have tags in a drawer, I have words, um, anything with like a whole bunch of words on it or just words in general. Um, I have random, so if there's like glasses, telephones, cameras, like random things, a donut, they all go in a drawer. And then I have a drawer for florals and so on and so forth. So I pulled out some ephemera um, pieces to go with this kit and I'm going to try to stick to it. This is a cut apart from one of the previous click kits that I did not use up. Um, some of these are kind of big, but they could be good titles. Um, and I did pull a different size, different types, different things, glasses, um, a freaking cake stand. I don't even know. I just want to use it. It's super old. This pineapple that's so old. This rose, or not rose gold, gold butterfly, a little telephone, and um, some tags. And then I also brought in some enamel dots. So I brought them in for the black. And then these have the different color pinks, yellows, aquas, and black. And then let's see, I brought in some wood grain stars. Um, I actually got these from my retreat. So we had a, a table set up at the retreat that you could leave um, gently used things that you weren't using in your stash anymore or that you were just kind of, you were done with, you were tired of, but there was still some left that somebody else could use. And then you can take or leave as you please. So um, the first day before anybody came in, I set my stuff up there that I wanted to give away or leave for people. And Miranda did as well. And I got a doodle bug paper pad from Miranda, just one. I just took one. She had several that I liked, but I kind of wanted to keep it for everybody, all the guests. So I took one paper pad and then I didn't go back up there and take anything until the retreat was the last day and it was done and I got these. <laughs> these were up there. I don't know who left them, but I really, really like them and I've never seen them before. They're wood grain stars and I love wood grain. So I pulled those for my kit because there's wood grain in several different um, papers. And then I also pulled um, these tiny word stickers from my stash, black and white and then pink and white because they'll match well. Um, and these are this and one other pack of stickers are the only thing that I ended up getting from the retreat table and the doodle bug paper pad, which was really nice. I'm really excited to use that. Actually, I think I used some of the Emma retreat. Um, moving on, uh, this is another thing that I got from my retreat. Miranda gave this to me as a hostess gift and it's a stamp set from Close to My Heart. She um, is a consultant for Close to My Heart. And I just really, really love the different um, words and life, courage, kind, 
celebrate have always be and then there's some nice little you can add texture to your layout so I really want to use these um, and these would be really pretty to watercolor or color with Copics or something something fun something fun there um, I also pulled these bows from Maggie Holmes so I had a pack and a half so I bought these when they first came out and then in one of my um, design team kits from Memory Lane when I was on their team. Um, she sent half of a pack to me. So these are the only two that I have left. I love them, but I want to use them. Um, and I brought in this Dream Big title. It's glitter gold and it's from Hobby Lobby and it's super old. I've had it for a really long time. Um, so I wanted to use that up as well. And then next I brought in some black and white small tile alphas, um, because they're really, I like to use tile alphas. And then I brought in some thickers. Um, these are the lucky ones and they are gold, but this gold isn't the right color gold that I'm using. So the gold that I have pulled for most of my stuff is like a yellow gold. And you can see that there's a difference. So I won't be using those. Um, however, well, I guess if I don't use, I guess I could. Just not with, anyways, yeah. <laughs> then I pulled them for the white side because the white would go well with a lot of things. And then I also pulled in these black thickers, which are from the Girl Squad collection from Pebbles. And they're just really great titles, I feel like. And I like the font. Um, and then the last, the last thing that I pulled, um, sorry for the singing, <laughs> is some 12 by 12 sticker sheets. Um, this one is from Bella Boulevard and it's the color Chaos. And let's see, we have nice black alpha, some different sentiments and things that are black and white that I can use, some stars that are black and white, um, the pink matches, and then this border strip that's black and white. So that'll go well with this kit. Now these stickers all aren't gonna match, like this minty color and these I don't think will match. Like this pink is not the right color pink that's going on with my kit. But I can use the black elements, the black hearts, the black butterflies, the black words, um, the black and white heart, some of the words down here would work. So I pulled that in for that reason. And then last, but surely not least, I pulled in the Webster Pages, um, my Happy Place sticker sheet, which matches some of the papers that are in this kit. So that's why I kind of pulled that in because I haven't used any of them yet. So I feel like it'll go well. And that is my kit, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I hope that you guys are super excited for this because it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I'm excited. This is going to be a monthly thing for the summer months. Um, we are going to be posting our kit share um, on the first of the month of the summer months. So June, July, and August, I believe, is the months that we're going to be doing it. And um, I will be sharing what I create with my kit, some layouts, um, throughout the month here and there. And then at the end of the month, I'm going to start doing layout shares. A lot of you have reached out to me and asked me to start doing that. Um, I do, the reason I don't normally do them is because I do film every single layout that I create. I usually film except for the retreat layouts that I did. I did not film those. Um, but for the most part, I usually film everything. So that's why I don't normally do a layout share. However, some people just enjoy layout shares. So I am going to start doing those at the end of every month. So be on the lookout for that. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this um, little make your own kit. I hope that you guys will also play along and um, create a kit with your stash. And I would love to see what you guys come up with. If you guys do play along for the month, tag me in your kit. Share a picture on Instagram of it or Facebook um, or uh, also do a video if you do videos. Um, and show us what you create with your kit. It's, you know, we use, we buy all these products and we get all these products and a lot of them 
sit for that special picture and I just want to use my things if that makes any sense. Um, I've been on a spending freeze for two months now and I'm going hard. Um, I did just purchase something yesterday. So I've been on the spending freeze for two months and now I'm doing another one for June. So um, I really do like using up my stash, but the kits help. It helps put things together, especially when you kind of buy random like me sometimes. You don't buy like a whole kit or a whole collection. Um, I like, I tend to buy pretty papers a lot. <laughs> so yeah, that's the plan for the summer. And I hope that you guys are excited to see what everybody creates and to see what the kits look like that everybody makes. And um, I hope that you guys have an amazing day and don't forget to spread love and be kind. Bye.